So GRI run our basis of running a drop-in where we provide emergency overnight accommodation and a safe social space and food, but um, primarily we support in terms of relationships as well. Um, many of the people that we see, particularly those coming out of prison, have very broken relationships and a lack of support networks, and we're there to do our best to try and support and help them. How do you do that? Just by being kind to people, really. I mean, there's the, the practical provision of things. We can help people with the practicalities. If people are coming out with no accommodation, we can put them up overnight and, and signpost them with the likes of Housing Matters, who we've just heard from. And we provide food and clothing and bedding, that kind of thing. But far more important than that is the sense of hope that you get when you've got somebody committed to seeing you do well. And often these are people who have dealt with a lot of rejection and have got complex problems and are very in a vulnerable position and particularly if they're coming out of institutions like prison and it's it is transformational to sit with people who they know care about them and are willing to see them do well well you touched upon some of them there but what are the biggest challenges then you face in doing those things well, I think for, for the individuals that we see, mental ill health is uh, really endemic uh, and that's overrepresented in prison and homeless populations. So rates of mental ill health ranging um, across the spectrum are very high and that's still the case on the island. There's a lack of supported accommodation as well. And as we heard, many people are in temporary and insecure accommodation where they've got no access to cooking or heating facilities or proper sanitation. So there's a lot of practical barriers for people to face as well as the isolation of having a lack of support network um, around you. We've heard quite an optimistic view from the prison governor that there's uh, great support for prison uh, prisoners reintegrating is that a similar picture in your mind i think it's getting better and certainly i've got a lot of time for the 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 prison governor and the work that he and his team do up in the prison they do a fantastic job and have been very supportive of us and um, what we see at gry we tend to see that the niche of people who are still falling through the net so we'll continue to see people who are coming out of prison with no accommodation. We continue to see people who really struggle um, going in and out of the criminal justice system a lot. And we continue to see people who have, uh, are just very much in a, in a difficult situation. What are the most important aspects, do you think, in finding somewhere appropriate? Well, I think there's a, there's a real lack of the, the quality of accommodation is very poor at the very bottom end of the market and there's often a lot of exploitative landlord practices as well. There could be far greater regulation of the private landlords on the Isle of Man but there's also a real lack of any sort of supported network. It's not necessarily if people don't have living skills it's not necessarily the answer to stick them in a tenancy on their own but we don't have the same range of supported accommodation models um, where people are getting a range of support to help them maintain their tenancies and regain stability and we'd love to see a lot more of that the Isle of Man. How would we do that then? Resources. I mean, Gry have been involved in a very successful project with um, Department of Infrastructure Housing, running some very small scale accommodation, but we're a tiny charity. Most of the work in this area is done by ourselves and Housing Matters. We're both very small charities. It's resources, resources, finance and people.